What's up guys, it's Derek here. Today we're gonna to talk about metabolic syndrome. This used to be called Syndrome X, it's now called metabolic syndrome, and it's a new term used to describe a group of health conditions that together can increase the risk of certain diseases, okay? We're gonna go through the signs, tests, symptoms, what it is, and how you can overcome it, okay? So let's get go through this. So, if you have metabolic syndrome, you're gonna increase the chances of getting type two diabetes, sucks, stroke, kidney disease, heart disease, and poor leg circulation, all of which suck, okay? It's, it's, if you, if you um, end up getting any of these, it's gonna negatively impact your life and uh, can be uh, potentially life-threatening. So, let's go through this, okay? Signs and tests. So, uh, there are a few signs that you might have metabolic syndrome, including blood sugar, cholesterol, blood pressure, and measurements. So let's go through the simple one first. Measurements. If you measure, if you're men and you measure greater than 39 inches in the waist, in the abdomen, across the stomach, in women, if you measure greater than 34 inches, then you have one of the signs that you might have metabolic syndrome. If you have only one sign or symptom, you don't have metabolic sy syndrome, but you should still get testing for the others. So this is the easiest way to tell that you might have something else going on is excess fat around the waist, okay? Sign number one. Sign number two, high blood sugar. If you have greater than 99 milligrams per deciliter in your blood sugar, that's a sign that you might have metabolic syndrome. High blood pressure. If your systolic number, which is the top number, is higher than uh, greater than 129, or your diastolic, your bottom number, is greater than 84, that's another sign that you might have it. High cholesterol. So if your glycerides are measuring greater than 140 milligrams per deciliter and your, and your HDL, which is your good cholesterol, is less than 40 for men, 50 for women uh, milligrams per deciliter, it's another sign. So again, if you have one of these signs, so if you just have high blood pressure but none of the others, you don't have metabolic syndrome. But if you have high cholesterol, there are chances that you're going to have high blood pressure, which will also uh, may tie into the fact that you have excess fat around your waist. So if you have any one of these, go get tested for the others because you just don't know what other conditions that you might uncover. Okay, pretty simple. So let's go into the symptoms and what metabolic syndrome is and what it does and why it sucks. Okay, so bear with me here. Here we go. Symptoms. So let's talk about uh, what metabolic syndrome is first. So obviously it's related to your metabolism. That's why they call it that. And it, it, basically your metabolism c consists of the chemical and physical bodily functions that you use on a daily basis to convert energy. So this includes breathing, circulation, muscle contraction, digestion, thinking, brain function, and body temperature control. And what um, basically metabolic syndrome is a symptom of insulin resistance. So in a healthy body, insulin helps control blood. Uh, sorry, blood sugar levels. So if you, if when obesity, lack of exercise, genetics, and en environmental factors result in insulin resistance, the end result can be dan dangerous and potentially deadly, okay? As cells resist insulin, they can't use sugars as efficiently. And the sugar levels in your blood rises, hence high blood sugar levels, okay? This causes more insulin to be produced. Now, if your body cannot produce enough insulin to control the blood sugar, you're well on your way to developing what? Diabetes, okay? Sucks. That's going to suck if you get diabetes, okay? So again, if you have high blood sugar levels, get checked for some of the other um, signs, okay? So elevated insulin levels increase your glyce, uh, glycerides and blood fat levels, okay? So we talked about high cholesterol and glyceride levels. So they coincide. It also leads to high blood pressure. A combination of all these problems increases your risk of not only diabetes, but heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, and a bunch of circulation problems as well, okay? All of which would suck, okay? So uh, if you have these symptoms and you end up going to the doctor and you have, they tell you you've got metabolic syndrome, while it sucks, it's not the end of the world. So let's talk about that. Hope this is all making sense for you guys. <clears throat> you can overcome it. So first of all, get checked. And let's go back to the measurements. 
if your measurements are, are greater than 39 inches, greater than 39 inches for a man and greater than 34 inches for a woman, then go get checked for all the rest. It's that simple, okay? And my clients that have these measurements, we talk about this, okay? So what can you do about it? First get checked and then you know what you're dealing with. And if you know what you're dealing with, then you can battle it and potentially beat it, okay? Before it turns into something where you've got it the rest of your life or it creates something where you've, you've permanently damaged your body for the rest of your life, okay? So eat healthy, fiber, fiber rich diet, okay? Fruits, veggies, whole grains. If you don't know what to eat and you're confused on nutrition because there's so much BS in the media and confusing stuff out there, go to my website, thenutritionrenegade.com, click on the 30-day fat loss blueprint. That is my base plan for healthy eating. If you can look at your hand and see the size of your fist, you can follow that blueprint to healthy eating. That simple. That's what I do. I simplify things. I make it stickable, okay? Stickable means you'll stick to it. And if you stick to it, you're going to end up taking these healthy eating habits and keeping them for life, okay? Eat heart healthy fish. Great omega-3s, low in fat, brain food, you name it. Fish are awesome, okay? Get regular exercise. Do what you love to do, okay? If there's something you love to do, go do it. Get the body moving. Start there and then incorporate more intense exercise as you get used to getting moving, okay? Lose weight, which will come with the great eating and great exercise. Quit smoking if you're smoking. I don't even have to go into detail on that. I mean, it's, er, quit smoking. Pretty simple. It um, significantly impacts your LDL cholesterol. LDL being your bad cholesterol. When you smoke, it increases. Bad, 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 okay? Along with all the other crap that smoking does. And one of the key things that <clears throat> I think people miss is getting regular, regular medical checkups. If you're not getting a regular medical checkup, you're <clears throat> potentially missing things that could be going on with your body. And um, most of us are reactive. So we only go to the doctor and I'm a dude, we hate going to the doctor normally, and we only go if there's something wrong that's just, uh, pounded into our heads from our dads, from their dads, and their dads. I don't know what it is. Macho crap. Anyway, instead of being reactive, be proactive. Because by the time you start feeling the symptoms, seeing the symptoms and signs, it, you're, you may already have progressed to a point where it's going to be really hard to battle it. Okay? I hope that all makes sense. That's metabolic syndrome. Um, used to be called syndrome X. If your um, circumference in your waist is measuring greater than we talked about, go get it checked, okay? And uh, that's going to be the first step on the path to recovery, okay? Hope that all makes sense. That's it for today. Take care, guys.